Hello everybody, welcome back to Pixie Room. Now loads of people have been asking me, how do you do a quick makeup? Whether you're late for work, whether you're a mum on the go and you've got to take the kids to nursery or to school. Now, um, I'm a mum on the go. I wake up in the morning, get my kids ready, um, before I've even properly opened my eyes. The kids are running around like crazy, get Harry ready, get Edie ready, brush their teeth, then give them literally 10 minutes in their room because that is the max they will have. Um, before they're tearing each other's hair out, which in which time I have to get ready, get dressed, brush my teeth and put a little bit of makeup on so that I feel ready for part of the day. I don't really feel ready for the whole day. So um, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I do in the morning. I've also brought a powder foundation to show you as well because I know not everyone has dry skin like me. Some people have an oily skin and they just want to flatten it down or they just like that flatter kind of matter look to their skin. So. This is what I do, and I'm going to time myself because I would like to know how long it takes me. So let me get my clock. Stopwatch. Let's go. Okay, to start off with, because I don't use a foundation in the morning, I'm going to take my concealer. This is NW20 Moisture Cover. I don't use anything other than this in the morning, so I put that under my eyes, around my nose. I do use a good amount of it, a little bit on my blemishes. Obviously I do this both sides of my face. And then I take my finger, don't even use a brush, take my finger and I work that into my skin. The reason I use this one is because it conceals enough to um, get away, like disappear my dark circles, but it's also moisturizing enough that I can blend it into the rest of my skin nicely. And it gives like such a nice dewy, almost foundation finish. And it saves me skipping this, uh, doing the step of concealer. So I just run that all the way over my skin. Now for those of you that have a uh, slightly oilier skin, I'm going to take a little bit of MAC um, Studio Fix foundation and a sponge. So I've got a, um, and I'm just going to run that over my skin and this is perfect it gives such a great finish and a really flat even finish to the skin you don't really need a concealer with it because it's a good coverage so for those mums on the run people late for work keep one of these with you so that's all over I then take on my brows a little bit of, um, this is L'Oreal Brow Artist um, and I just run that through my brows. If you need a pencil you can but it's going to take up more time. So I just dyed my eyebrows so that every single little hair is showing up which makes them look fuller anyway. So I run a bit of that through my brows. So don't, I personally don't feel awake until I've got some brow on um, or mascara just to show that I do have features this brow is nowhere near as thick as that one but that's fine um, then I'm going to take a little bit of mascara I don't tend to put anything on my eyes other than mascara because I think mascara is bringing out the features enough um, and it should be enough for anyone really. If you do find that you've got super short um, lashes, just run a little bit of a pencil along the lash line, but really super quickly. And if you don't do it tidily, then just get your finger and smudge it along with your finger. Right, I then take a little bit of um, Clarins lip conditioner on my lips that they look like they're nice and fresh and healthy and not just been slept and snored on. Now, on my side, on the creamy side that isn't powdered, I take a little bit of cream bronzer and just use my fingers to work that in. Literally, I have no time, so this is what I do. Fingers to work that in and around the hairline. And then if you've used the powder side, just going to take a quick brush, I'm going to use a slightly bigger one, a little brush and a bit of bronzer 
and just run that around the hairline. Now I think bronzer is important because it gives you a little glow to the skin. Don't look like you're one toned. It makes you look like you just had a healthy, fresh glow. I personally would then take a little bit of highlighter on my cheeks, but that's your personal choice. And that has taken me, that will take me to five minutes exactly. And that's me done. That's what I do in the mornings. And that makes me feel fresh and healthy and ready to start the day. Um, and it took me four minutes, 24 seconds, if that I rambled at the end. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it guys and I hope that's been interesting to you, um, for you, to you. I hope that's been interesting for you. If you want any other quick smoky eyes or quick whatever, then I can show you how to do that as well. But I think for a slightly oilier skin, this side's perfect with a flat foundation and for um, someone who has a dry skin and they feel like they feel a bit aged, this side is perfect because it just brightens it up a little bit. And you can always put powder in this area if you want to over. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely day. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.